Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another adventure vlog. So I'm actually going to be heading to Crescent Head. I've never been to Crescent Head before and it has such a beautiful reputation around where I live. So I'm excited to be doing a little bit of a solo road trip. It is currently Saturday at about 1.30. So I'm just about to pack my stuff. I'm going to be taking my surfboard. Yeah, just kind of exploring the area. We'll get there around like afternoon and we'll have till like maybe tomorrow lunchtime so i'm gonna see if we can find some awesome little adventure spots i actually don't even know where i'm gonna be camping i'm gonna be sleeping in a swag i haven't organized camp yet i don't know whether i should book a site before leaving or just turn up to crescent and kind of suss it out and just wing it i reckon that's probably what i'll do and kind of see but i'm excited Alrighty, the car is packed pretty wild i got my foamy and my good old trusty swag and then in this box this just lives in my car it's actually got some like cups and actually it's got like cups and bowls and that little box and then have my clothes in the car let's do it Crescent Head. It's very windy. I don't even know if you can hear me. But I just had a little bit of a suss around the main beach part. There's like a main caravan here and did a bit of googling so we're gonna head off to a campsite. I'm gonna head off to find this campsite. It's just like a national park campsite I think. I want to suss it out while it is still daylight just to make sure it's safe and there's a spot um i looked online um and there's definitely spots available so i just want to suss it out first before i get a site um when i say site i just mean literally a spot to throw my swag but every time i do these road trips it just makes me so excited for van life like when i see people in their vans or even in like their four-wheel drives I like just pulling up with their beds already made in the back that they're already there like it makes me so excited but I just don't know what I want to do first like overseas traveling for like a long period of time or van life for a long period of time like I just don't know I'd had like my mind made up but every time I just go on little solo road trips like it just makes me appreciate how bloody beautiful the country that we live in is um yeah if you've done both and you have a recommendation of timeline pop in the comments below i'm 22 almost 23 so just trying to make up my mind i think the overseas will come first that's the plan but yeah just makes me so excited to own a van anyway i'm excited we're gonna go and check out the campsite and then we're gonna come back into town and get some dinner somewhere because for this trip it's just gonna be an overnighter and I don't have like an it's honestly I literally just threw my swag in the car so yeah I've got I've got utensils but I haven't got a fridge haven't got food equipment haven't got an awning haven't even brought a light like it was literally just pack and run so I'm going to be mainly um yeah coming in when it gets dark coming in having dinner here so i can spend most of like the evening just in town like where there's light and it's just uh, a little bit nicer rather than sitting in my swag in the dark and then i'll head home and well head to the camp and pull out my swag and go to bed early okay i think we found a camping spot not the one that i had in mind but we're just heading down the trail to the beach. So I just found a spot wherever I could park my car really that was out of the road and that I'm 
sure that I'm not going to get run over. Just a quick little pause to say this, in fact, was not where I ended up camping. Oh, but it's literally like right opposite a path to get straight out onto the beach. Hopefully this is where I'll be able to come surfing in the, in the morning. I'll turn around and show you in a sec. Wow. saw from the previous clip it was like the cutest little country band singing oh it was so good i'm so glad that i stopped off at the just local country club and met some awesome humans shout out to pat and alan for inviting me to sit at their table that was so lovely they were sitting behind me and talking to me and they moved towards the stage and they're like, do you want to come and sit with us, love? And they're like asking me about what I was doing up here and how long I was staying for. And I was chatting to them about their trip and they've been here for like two weeks and they were so beautiful. And they even asked if I was okay to get home. It's so good. This is like the ultimate reason why I really enjoy coming on these trips on my own because it not forces me, but it encourages me to talk to new people and I always leave the experiences making new friends and yeah they're just such beautiful like unexpected experiences and I'm very grateful for them but going back to roll out my swag and go to bed I also got an ice cream for dessert you probably saw that I had a burger and chips it was really good actually um and yeah I'm so ready for bed. Had a late night and an earlier start, so I'm keen to hit the hay and... trip so I refuse to pay I even though I love breakfast I refuse to pay for breakfast so I'm gonna have this good sorts of carbs and protein but I am going to buy a coffee before going for a walk
the surf doesn't look great today. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm a bit in the surf. I don't know. I don't know. I'm smoothing it out a little bit later. So I can go for a surf. Otherwise, it's been a while since I've actually just played on the beach. So maybe I might do that. Um, and just adventure a little bit more before I head home. Trying to get back home around like mid afternoon so I can get myself sorted for a big day of coaching or not necessarily coaching but a big day of work tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day that I do my early coaching shifts. So. Right, we're back in the car. I just did a little bit of like a work stint um, for like social media stuff and just planning, trying to be a little bit more consistent across my social media, both my netball coaching, strength and conditioning and also my personal as well, trying to bring as much valuable content as I can and also interesting content as I can to my audience as possible. And just, uh, yeah, had a bit of a juice at the cafe. Just sat down, I think I'd been doing it maybe for like an hour, an hour and a half, but my laptop went flat um, and yeah, I think it's just time for a little bit of a break and I'm gonna go probably lay on the beach, I would say. I cannot remember the last time I actually just laid on the beach. I'm usually like a run amok, surf, boogie board, body surf type of person, but it'll be nice to just get a little bit of vitamin D on the body and just chill out before um, a fairly long drive home, actually. It's like three hours. I did not expect it to be this far away from Newcastle. Like I thought it'd be a little bit more of an easier trip. Like it's an easy drive, but it's just a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and chill at the beach. All right, finished just having a little bit of a lay at the beach to be honest i didn't even get in which is pretty rare actually but look i kind of just did the easy thing and thought ah oh, i'll be all wet and it'll be all gross to drive home in my car so i just kind of enjoyed the sun and just laid which was really nice so yeah gonna head home now um, so you can get ready for a big week. Crescent Head, you have been beautiful. I feel like I haven't explored it to the, its full potential, but I'll definitely be coming back when I have uh, maybe an extra day or so and probably take some traveling buddies next time, actually. This one, I just wanted to kind of go on my own and force myself to do stuff on my own. I think I did actually talk about it at the start, but anyways, I'm going to head on the road now, probably put a podcast on, trying to listen to Huberman's podcast, definitely very insightful and helpful as a coach. So we'll pop that on and then until maybe I get a little bit tired and then drive uh, with some music on because that's also awesome to like pump the tunes and just get into the road trip vibes. Yeah. 